What's up, beautiful? I'm sorry. Permanent straightening is a highly debated topic, and personally, I have strong opinions about it. Not always positive, but today, we're watching some girls get Japanese straightening perms. I have never actually performed a Japanese straightening treatment on somebody. However, I do know quite a bit about it. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna go through it. We're gonna watch these girls get it done and see what happens to their hair. Is it a good outcome? Is it a bad outcome? And what is my personal opinion about permanent straightening treatments? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> And our first girl who is getting a permanent straightening treatment today, a Japanese one, is Mikan. Getting my hair permanently straightened in Japan, damage free. Oh, Mikan, we will see about that. Damage free and straightening treatments don't exactly go together, and I will explain why in a second, but that title is a little deceiving for me. I'm here today in Omotesando. Oh, she's so cute. Late for my appointment. Because why would you ever be on time for the hairdresser? Like, why would you? Nobody can be on time. I don't know what it is. Or they're like 30 minutes early and you're like, I can't take you 30 minutes early. It's always the case. Nobody's ever just right on time. They're always mad early or mad fucking late, bro. I'm going to hair salon Nalu and what I want to do is I want to permanently straighten this mess. No! <laughs> I was just gonna say, no, I kinda like your hair. Your hair is pretty, I like it wavy. But I'm sure it looks really cute straight too. I mean, your hair does look really freaking dope when it's wavy. I am gonna be one of those people who just say like, mm, don't you want your waves to be there sometimes? You know what I mean? But it's like after so long of dealing with this mess, it takes so long to take care of it. And even when I cut it short, it still takes so long to take care of it. But I don't know how healthy my hair is. They can only do it to your hair if it's quite healthy. I think I'll have to cut the ends off. I wonder why people only suggest you do it on healthy hair. Because it is actually very damaging to get a treatment done. Japanese treatments do not bond keratin to the hair. We'll go over the differences in a second. Typically, it's not good for your hair. So I spoke to the hairstylist and apparently she can do it. Yay! So hopefully by the end of the day I will have straight hair. Thank God. She said that the ends, because they have been bleached, will be a little bit more dry but I don't really mind so much, so hopefully it'll be good by the end of it anyway. Okay, she's way too cute. <laughs> I can't handle it. They've like completely covered everything on me. So typically they're clarifying the hair before applying the solution that then gets straightened and blow dried into the hair. She's putting a little protective ear thing on. Ear Those I are got. literally so cute. They're so cool. It looks like they're going to start the treatment. So I'm guessing everything is okay with my hair. It's really important when you're getting a straightening treatment that the product is applied evenly and the right amount of product is applied. Not too much and not too little because you can overdo it and it gets really greasy and really gross if you overdo it. So just be careful. More is not better in this case. I know, it's mind blowing. That took me a long time to figure out, but more is not better. It just makes your hair damn greasy and gross and it's way too much product. And the product's expensive. Like you don't need to be paying for more product because you're using way too much, all right? I'm just gonna put that out there. I've been told Hair, man. You're like, you can't get everything at once. Like, you can't have really crazy colored hair and it be healthy. You can't have a permanent straightening treatment and have healthy hair. Like, why is this world always give and take? I want to just take. That's it. I didn't mean that in a different way. So, I've been left under this magical rotating heat. Thing. So typically what happens is they apply the solution. You have to let it sit for an hour or less. Every treatment is different. Every different kinds of straightening treatments. There's a lot of different ones. And then you usually blow dry it in. You straighten it. Some of them you wash it after and then blow dry it again. Some of them you leave it in for two days and don't wash your hair. They all kind of vary, but they're all kind of similar. This one looks like you leave it in under heat. Then they're probably gonna blow dry and straighten it. It's still gonna be like fluffy. And then she's going to straighten it. And then after that, it's just like straighten it. You might kind of be wondering, like, what is the difference? Why is Japanese perming different than keratin? 
Hermé. And you might have heard of Brazilian Blowouts, Keratin Complex. Those are the two major ones, like Brazilian Keratin, that sort of thing. Basically what Keratin treatments are, literally it's liquid Keratin, glued, glued, glued to each hair fiber with the intense heat that is applied to the hair. So your hair is made out of Keratin and you're adding more Keratin over it and a bit of a harder structure so that your hair cannot coil up and twist. It's kind of just like pulled in that same direction at all times and it slowly wears away. Whereas a Japanese straightening treatment does not go away until your hair grows out. Brazilian blowouts, however, do slowly go away after about three months. Brazilian blowouts and stuff like that are gonna make your hair really, really glossy and beautiful and it's gonna get rid of a lot of your wave. However, Japanese perming is gonna get rid of pretty much all of your wave, everything. It's gonna make your hair bone straight and Brazilian blowouts it's gonna get rid of most of your waviness, your curliness, and still leave your hair with a lot of body. It's quite the opposite with Japanese. It's very flat and straight and pin pin straight, but it does last longer. Depending if you've ever colored your hair, you might wanna get a Brazilian blowout. And if you've never colored your hair before, maybe a Japanese straightening treatment would be better for you because that one lasts longer. However, you're gonna get more damage on that one and less damage on the Brazilian one. So there's all kinds of things involved with this process and all kinds of things to think about when and then if you get a straightening treatment, there are many different kinds and many different applications of the same sort of thing. Um, it's just different outcomes, different amount of time that it lasts for, and different for different hair types and textures. So now we're in that midpoint where she's drying ah! her hair and it's super fluffy. This is pretty much my hair, like, if I straighten it and then I go outside because ah! it just it doesn't respond ah! to humidity. So I'm really excited to see how it will turn out. All right, all right. I don't blame her for getting a straightening treatment. I think it would, I, I think it would be good for her. It feels way softer than it felt before, which I'm really surprised about. I thought it would have looked drier, but it feels really soft. And um, honestly, if this was the end result, I wouldn't even be mad because I'm it's a lot better than my easy customer. hair. But what she's going to straighten it, and then supposedly that's like the end result. And then she said that she would cut my fringe too because it's a whole mess. Let me go over something. There's two reasons why I don't do these treatments, people. And one of them is because it takes way too long. It is the most boring process in my opinion. Uh, you literally have to go over each strand like six times. You take the tiniest little pieces. If you miss a little section of hair, your hair will be curly in that spot and that spot only. So you better be really perfect with your sectioning and really do it evenly and really go in there or else you're gonna get some fed up shit going on. The time is not worth the money. People don't wanna pay that much for a straightening treatment. And if they do, it's still not that much compared to a color process. So I'd rather spend three hours, four hours doing a color process and make double the money rather than doing a straightening treatment and making half the money. So that's why I stopped doing them. But hey, if you like doing it, that's all, that's all you. It's all you, girl. Oh my god, her hair looks so pretty! Oh, and now they put another layer of something on there. Wow, her hair looks beautiful. Oh, the aftercare and things like that after a few days will have actually lived with it. I just realized, you guys, <laughs> hold up a second. I didn't finish explaining what the difference was between both of these processes. So Japanese straightening actually changes the inner workings of the hair cuticle. The cortex of the hair is changed. It's very, very similar to a curly perm where it changes the disulfide bonds in the hair. It breaks disulfide bonds and reforms it into a pin straight moment. So it's actually working in the inside, whereas Brazilians and such things like keratin treatments are working on just the outside. It is not reforming anything in the inside. And that's the difference, okay? I just want to talk about how it's been dealing with my hair, how my hair is felt, and just generally afterthoughts since I got this done. To start things off, I would like to mention whether or not this is sponsored, just because people like to know these things, and it's very nice to be, you know, transparent, especially when you're making a review. So, yes and no. It was not- Why is there a fly on my set? Get away from me. Get away from me. I don't want you anymore. Stop flying in my face. I will show you my hair when it has just been freshly dried. It's just because my haircut is very- Whoa, very it's so, so if straight. You know, style it, it looks a bit ridiculous. So yes. It's very straight, Whoa. It's very, very straight, but it's kind of still not so attractive. 
it's just like a really really blunt haircut so it doesn't look good if I don't do anything to it so I do things like curling in the ends which is the easiest thing for me to do it took me like five minutes to do this it still looks beautiful okay, and shiny so I've only curled the ends. I, I haven't touched the rest at all it's just still completely straight even a month later one thing I am worried about is I'm worried about when it grows out and the roots are gonna be curly I think my hair grows yeah. kind of quickly for example it's not that cute when that happens So that's basically what happens is your hair grows out and you get a bit of a curly root until you get it redone. This is the issue, man, amongst other issues with straightening treatments is that you, you, it lasts for a couple months until your roots start to grow in and you get these awful curly roots and you have to straighten your roots and then the ends are straight and the roots aren't and then you have this whole like thing going on where you like can't wear it natural, you can't wear it not natural and then you have to like always style it and you end up being more styling in the long run. But her hair looks nice, just I don't know how much of a convenience it will actually end up being for uh, Miss Mikan, but looks nice. Let's move on. Let's watch one more. This video is by Rachel and Jun. This is called Japanese Permanent Hair Straightening. So she seems to have the same sort of hair as the last girl. Uh, hers is a little bit more straight, but the same bangs, the same sort of frizziness, the same little bit of wave and curl going on. We'll say wave. And her hair looks either colored or she just has very majestically copper hair that I am very into. A while ago, I did an ultrasonic hair treatment at Nalu that left my hair super silky and straight for about three weeks. I loved it, but the results didn't last too long, and so they said if I did the permanent hair straightening. I've heard of these thermal treatments, whatever she just said. They're actually really crazy. They use this straightener that doesn't heat up, does this thing, and somehow your hair is smoother and straighter with ionic things going on. Listen, I have literally no idea what I'm saying right now. If you want to know about more about that, then research it yourself. It like straightens the hair, temporarily smooths it out and adds a lot of shine apparently. It sounds a little bit like bullshit to me, but like, oh, I don't know. And we're going over the same process. The same things are kind of going on. And let's see if we get a little bit more of an insight on this one. And then I'll share with you guys why I don't like these treatments very much. This is cool because they actually put her bangs in a round, like, paper thing. However, the solution is applied is how the disulfide bonds in the hair are going to reform. So they actually put a cool little like rounded curler in the front or like a rounded piece of plastic paper in order to make that kind of like rounded bang look she likes, which is really artsy and cool. And that's how it should be done. I think the last girl didn't get that, which is why her bangs kind of ended up being like two different ways. So it's really important the way you relax the hair, the way you get it straightened is in the way that you're going to wear it or else it's always going to be parted in that same direction at all times. If somebody does one of these Japanese treatments on you and gives you like a side part or a middle part and you only wear it on the side, that's not a good idea. You should tell them you wear it on the side because if they do it in the middle and it's straightened like that, it is going to stay in the middle forever. <laughs> or until your hair grows out and it's gonna be super annoying to try and change that. So that's really important. Great application, very satisfying. So then they blow dry it and straighten it again and again and again and apply a lot a lot a lot a lot of heat to that hair and now they apply another solution which i think is like more of a deep conditioning treatment sort of moment going on and then they rinse it and then they blow dry it whoa dude that's a difference wow Look how shiny it is. She's like the most gorgeous hair color I've ever seen. Whoa, that is like HD copper. Like that is beautiful. Wow, it looks so smooth and shiny. Okay, so it's been almost two months since I did the Let's see. hair straightening. And God, this bug will f away. Okay, so it's been almost two months since I did the permanent hair straightening and I just got out of the shower. And Let's see what the outcome is. is. Let's so see if she likes it. Time of just me setting up this camera and doing a little bit of makeup, like my bangs have dried a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna do a time lapse for you today and show you what it looks like to have your hair just air dry after doing the permanent hair straightening. 
uh, which is what I've been doing this entire time since I got it. I haven't put in any oils, I haven't gone back for any like more treatments, I haven't done anything special to it. Just shampoo and conditioner every day, I've never straightened it, I just go to sleep with my hair wet and then I wake up and it's like perfect straight hair every single time. So I'm gonna do a time lapse today to show you guys what it's like. It's gonna take me like three hours. Wait, this is so cool actually. the third time lapse I tried. I tried like three different days because turns out it takes a really really long time for my hair to actually completely dry my hair. Uh, usually I just like sleep most of it off during the night. Yo, commitment from Rachel. Like she just gave us a damn time lapse of her hair drying. Rachel, I don't think that was necessary but it's very much appreciated and whoa, that's a lot of time you just sat there. Thank you for that. Just air drying two months after permanent hair straightening. It's super soft and silky feeling, like I haven't even brushed it. Could brush it, but I don't even really need to. Her hair is so shiny and soft looking. Oh, dude, yes. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> mm, no, yeah, yeah, for sure. That was actually really good for her, too. Okay, well, let's get into my uh, thoughts about this whole thing. Okay, over the course of watching these two videos, my thoughts about straightening treatments has sort of adjusted, let's say. And the reasoning for that is, let me just explain to you why I don't generally like them that much. A few reasons, okay. First of all, you're like literally changing how your hair dries naturally and how it is. We just need to embrace it sometimes or just use the correct products to style your hair. People with curly hair or wavy hair or frizzy hair just literally don't use the correct products or don't use high quality products that work. You're not gonna get as great of an outcome when you're just not using the right products, obviously. So a lot of this stuff could be solved with correct products. Um, I just think it's a very serious thing to do is like straighten your hair permanently. But like, whatever, right? That's like the least of my worries. Mainly with Japanese straightening treatments, it's like you're reforming the bonds of your hair. You are going deep into that hair cuticle. You are doing a lot of damage and you are going in there and doing a lot of things to your hair that are not exactly meant to do, which I just don't feel like it's the best decision, which is also like not that big of a deal. I don't really care that much about that. The third the biggest reason for me why before this video, I kind of didn't like them that much, um, but kind of changed my mind is because when you get a straightening treatment, you are getting each little individual hair straightened by a 400 or around 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very hot. You cook a lot of food at that temperature or a little less than that. And your food would probably burn and uh, you're cooking your hair at a very, very high temperature and you're going over those strands so many times, which is gonna just cause so much damage to the hair. It just really stresses me out. So when people get keratin treatments and their hair is already damaged, expecting it to be better off after, I don't know if straightening your hair 300 times with a 450 degree flat iron is gonna make your hair any healthier. Does that make sense? And then you have to think about how after you get it done, maybe you won't be using a flat iron, a blow dryer or whatever at all anymore, which is actually gonna end up causing less damage but maybe the same amount of damage because you already like pulverized with a flat iron to get the treatment and now you're just not using any heat products after the treatment and otherwise it would have been the other way around you don't do any treatment and you just pulverize it all the time with a low amount of heat kind of like the same sort of situation i guess and the other thing is like i mentioned before is that your roots grow in and you end up curly and you end up having curly roots and you have to get it maintained a lot um which is another whole process and a lot of time i totally understand if you have unruly wavy curly annoying frizzy hair and you are in a high humidity climate or you just have issues with your hair by all means go get this treatment done and if you colored your hair before get a keratin treatment don't get a japanese Japanese treatment and if you've never colored your hair and your hair is super healthy maybe get a Japanese street treatment or if you just want to keep some of your wave and have it less frizzy get a Brazilian blowout there's all different kinds of things you can get done and all different techniques you can still keep your curl and get a straightening treatment if that's called just like defrizz treatment there's all sorts of things going on I want to share some knowledge today about straightening treatments and about Japanese straightening treatment I feel enlightened actually and if you've seen a bug flying around this entire time. That is my friend. His name is Benny. Benny, and he is sitting right beside me right now. All right, bye, Benny. Oh, there he is. He wanted to say hi. 
Oh, bye. All right, that is all you guys. Check out my new hair products, Project X by X Mondo, my brand. It'll be linked below. Follow X Mondo on Instagram and Twitter for updates on new product launches. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BradMondoNYC and my other channel, Brad and Eric, for behind the scenes content and stuff like that. Really fun, dope shit. And thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life, baby. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Boom.